Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last one of the night, 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball, brand new release, Jumbo Edition, 8-box, pick your team number three. We got more 8-box uh, Jumbo pick your, team, pick your teams in the store. We got 2-box Super Jumbo random teams in jazbeescasebreaks.com as well. If you want to check that out, we'll be able to knock that tomorrow. Big thanks everybody here for making this happen. Appreciate it. If you got those symbols next to your name, that means you won that spot. In a uh, in the uh, team random, where you won spots into the team random and then got randomized. Team. All right. Well, settle in, folks. Obviously, I will do an autograph recap with any low numbered cards at the end. If you're watching live, if you're watching the replay, you can just scrolled to the end, but if you're watching the this break live, then I guess you're just stuck with me. This is your team number three. All, right, all eight boxes. And good luck, everybody. Anybody, uh, is anybody in this break watching live right now? Anyone in Pick Your Team 3 watching live right now? If so, Uh, if so, what are you, uh, what are you looking for? What team do you have? What are you looking for? Speak it into existence, if you will. Or am I just doing this break by myself? Could I not do this break and go home and then no one would notice until tomorrow? You get some nice stuff out of your personal box, nice. I think Jason was doing personal boxes nonstop today. All right, so the main guys we're looking for here, Jackson Holiday, Tamar Johnson, and, uh, and Elijah Green. Those are some of the, what Nick Jaspius has uh, tiered as, uh, as the top tier guys that we're sort of looking for here. Of course, all cards ship, so. All right, 389 out of 499, Jordan Beck. Two turntables and a microphone, where it's at. These aren't numbered, so I'm going to breeze by these. That would be kind of other. What if I just stopped right at the top of the hour and said, that's it, I'm going home? I, I, su I suppose I could. I would just, uh, would I just, I guess I would just pause the video, yeah. Well, that might take up too much uh, resources overnight. I would just stop, yeah, I would just stop the video and be like, part two tomorrow. And then just, I don't know, mark the boxes or something like that. So there's no like, no one thinks there's any funny business. There's Tyler Stewart, Mark Bissett with that autograph. Suppose I could. I'm all right. I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll be okay. Mm. 
As long as I as long as, as, long as I have a, have a little bit of company in the chat, that's, that's all it takes to get me through this break. It'll, it'll, it'll go a lot faster. Although now that I've done one of these cases already, now I've got a good feel for got a good good feel for it. So 199, Brandon Baria, 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 <laughs> Devin with the blue birds. What's my favorite Bowman product? It's 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball, Jumbo and Super Jumbo, all of which you can find on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's my favorite Bowman product. Brand new release, and coincidentally, it just dropped today. Jaspiescasebreaks.com is where you can find it. Oh, there's Brenner Cox. 221, 250. Some purple Cox right here. How big is this Cox? 6'3", 195. That's a big Cox. Fourth round pick, purple paper, James. With some Cox. There's Thomas Kit Harrington, 99 out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Pirates. It'll be for Chad D. Different Chad, not Chad Daw, but Chad DeBenny. Chad Daw is in the chat. I think we've cornered the market on Chads in our... Uh... You heard that joke not 20 minutes ago? It's a different video. Different video, different audience. Chad, I can, I can recycle a joke. And there's Kumar Rocker. About one out of every 60 packs on that one. Texas, that goes to Rob. Also, it's not a joke. That's, that's his name, Chad. Grow up. Cox is his last name. I don't know what you're thinking. And a Drake Baldwin, 23 out of 50. 23 out of 50, Drake Baldwin started from the bottom. Now we're here. For the Braves, that's going to go to Michael Losia and the Bravos. Ah, you're thinking of John Rocker. There was the uh, the old closer for the Atlanta Braves that caused some controversy. I think he was probably one of the... He was... Uh, I guess you could say he was canceled before we really had a word uh, to call that. Holiday. My favorite athlete of all time would be Jackson Holiday, who you can find in 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball, brand new release, just dropped today. Group breaks available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. ABC, always be closing, Chad. Always be closing. Oh, favorite name of an athlete? Uh, <laughs> Dick Butkus. There's Owen Murphy, 49 out of 199. Owen Murphy, paper for Michael Osia and the Braves. All right, Joe. I will see you. Have a good trip, guys. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Año Nuevo, etc. Bye, guys. Bye. Holiday season, folks. Jason and Vanessa going out of town for a little bit. They're going to...
enjoy a much deserved vacay for them. Oh, and their birthdays too. Keep forgetting about that. The hol holiday, Christmas time birthday. They always get lost in the shuffle. I think uh, Jason and Vanessa's birthdays are in a, in a few days, Christmas Eve and I think both Christmas Eve, 24th or 23rd, somewhere around there. Nick's brother Alex is also on the 24th, I believe. Um, Nick Jaspi is the end of the month. The 31st? No, it's not the 31st, it's not New Year's Eve. It might be the day before. So there, there we, got, we got some December birthdays up in this. Jason's 25th. Okay, Vanessa's 26th. Yeah, yeah it's, it's around there. It's all, it's all rope and there. All right. Another box. There's Mason Wynn and Logan Tanner. 52 out of 150. Make like a tree and get out of here. Logan Biff Tanner, 52 out of 150. Mason Wynn for the Cardinals. That'll be for Allen. That's a 250. Tanner goes to Adam Kupperman and the Reds. Uh, we do not get time off for Jackson Holiday, no. In fact, we have to work on this Jackson Holiday, Bowman Draft Day. Holiday. Federal government, my, I wonder if federal government gets a Jackson holiday. We do not get Festivus off, unfortunately. We got a Jonathan Cannon. 163 out of 250. Purple paper for the Shy Sox. That's going to be for Alan Murdoch. I'm sure I've asked Alan this before over the years that he's been breaking with us. But when he plays, uh, uh, he's an adult. I don't think he plays A-team anymore. But when he, was, when he plays A-team, you think he always, you think he was always Murdoch? There's Ryan Ritter. Rockies. EA. It's in the game. With the Rocks. That's a good TV show theme song. What's a what's another good TV show? Those are it's a good TV show theme song. Theme song. Jackson Holiday's birthday was on the fourth. What what day was the fourth? Was that a Wednesday or Friday? 
That's when they should have released Bowman Draft. 9 out of 99, Anthony Volpe for Adam and the Yankees. I mean, Tops really should have had, like, I don't know. Maybe they did this. I don't know. They should have had, on Jackson Holiday's birthday, have him open a, bo a, a pack of Bowman Draft or something like that. Friends, yeah. Doom, do, 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 do. And, uh, the Rembrandt, I think. I'll be there for you. Uh, no one told you life was gonna be this way. I don't know the CSI song though. Or is that is that the Who song? CSI, well CSI Miami? And that's with the guy that has like the sunglasses? With the sunglasses and he puts the sunglasses on and he has like a cool line or something like he has a nice quip and then it goes into the intro. There's Danny DeLucia, 003 out of 499 refractor autograph. For Cleveland, Cleveland, this is for you. It's like he'll find like uh, two, uh, two like dismembered feet inside a freezer, like a meat locker or something like that. And he's like, it looks like someone had cold feet. It looks like someone got cold feet. Someone has cold. Looks like someone has cold feet. That's, that's the line. Christian Vaccaro, Aqua to 199. That's for James and the Nats. Airwolf, that's a good one. Um, Airwolf, uh, that's I mean, I could write for that show, Chad Daw. I could write for that show. I don't remember the Sanford and Son theme song. I don't remember much about Airwolf, but uh, just that, that helicopter was pretty awesome. Like, do shows like that exist anymore where, where they're like, the, like, like they had, where you had to have like an iconic vehicle, right? I don't know if we do, I don't know if we have that anymore. Like, you know, obviously Knight Rider had the car. Was it a Firebird, I think? Knight Rider had the car. Airwolf, I don't know who even, I remember the cast, but they had the helicopter, you know? Was that like a police helicopter? I actually don't remember anything about that show. Were, are they part of the government solving crimes? Is that a government helicopter? Is it a private crime solving entity? What, what were they? I just, I don't remember. Like A team had the van. Chips in the vehicles were a big part of the show, the motorcycles. Oh, it was some sort of private security group and the elder dude was the co pilot and But they had, they had like military grade weapons on that thing. I guess if you're there's a private security firm, you can you can do that. Rex is saying years ago I had an idea for a Schwarzenegger movie where he plays an ex-cop 
that the station allows to go on one last mission. Every time he goes, his, goes to a, a crime scene, he makes a cheesy reference to one of his old movies. Like what? This is why Rex is not a screenwriter. Um, but what would some of the references be? Like, like he finds like uh, some dead person in a crime scene and looks like looks like he was terminated. Would it be something like that? Some kid gets killed uh, doing uh, doing wheelies on a motorcycle, right? And flips over and get, gets killed. And he gets to the scene. And he was like. Looks like he was trying to be a last action hero. Something like that. Someone, someone gets uh, sexually assaulted and be like, oh, there must be a predator out here. Something like that. That's my honor Schwarzenegger, by the way. It's really good. Right, goes to a school shooting, goes to an officer and says, you must be a kindergarten cop. All right, okay. I can see that. I can see that. You know, maybe goes, goes to see, uh, maybe there's like a, a domestic argument, domestic incident that he gets called to and it's like, Here's both sides of the story, and he's like, somewhere here are true lies. What am I doing? That's like a Russian voice, isn't it? I think I, I think I've, I still have, uh, I still have Sean Connery, who's not doing a Russian accent. I got Sean Connery as, uh, as Captain Ramius in my head. One ping, one ping only for Shirley. All right, I take that back, Rex. Write that idea. Write the treatment for that. We'll pitch it around town, Holly. Well, I mean, we'll have to pitch it to Schwarzenegger himself. It doesn't work if it's not Schwarzenegger. So really, if we, if we get a meet, all we need to do, Rex, let's write the treatment. Let's get Schwarzenegger's, uh, I don't think I even would know people. I wouldn't know how to get Schwarzenegger's number, but we'd have to get to his representation. We'd have, well, it's not going to work if we get it to his agent. I can tell you that. Schwarzenegger himself has to, has to, has to be that, has to want to do that. We got to put in his, the agent won't do it. He'll be like, this is stupid. We're not going to do it. But it could be like sort of a self-referential movie like that Nicolas Cage movie that was out. Is that out yet? Has anyone seen it? If so, there's Harry, Henry uh, Bolt, A's, Garrett. So if there's kind of like a meta, self-referential kind of movie, it's Trevor Martin, 30 out of 75. You could spin that. That might work. There's Trevor Martin, 38 out of 75 for the Rays. Ryan Harold with the Rays. I don't know if that's one of the guys he was looking for. Could work if it's kind of spun like that Nick Cage picture. Usually they, they won't, who won't read unsolicited works? The agent or the actors? Sue for plagiarism. Well, I don't think I'm worried about plagiarism with Arnold Schwarzenegger because it's not a writer. I just need, you know, classic elevator pitch. I need 30 seconds with him in an elevator and be like, all right, get this. You're, you're, you're a cop solving one last mission, but you're making references to old movies that you've done. But you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everyone knows that but you insist on being called someone else.
Right, yeah. Schwarzenegger's not on the, he's not he's not part of the WGA. Elijah Green Chrome for James. All right, there's Alexis Hernandez, 58 out of 150. Blue paper for the Cubs, Matthew. And Drew Thorpe, 61 out of 499. Adam Kupperman with the Yankees, bought the Yanks straight up. Did I see James Weissman drop 30 today? No. I hope it is because I feel like he was pretty much out all last season with an injury, right? And then I feel like this year when like things started to ramp up, I think they, he ended up getting demoted to G League just to get some minutes. So I think the season did not start well for him. But hey, if he's dropping 30, I mean, I'll take... Oh, you know what? It probably was garbage time because, because the, they were playing the Nets. The Nets blew him out. The Nets were up by like 40 at one point. I think they closed the lead, but, but the, the Nets were in control the entire way. But, hey, I mean, just getting those buckets, you know, just getting those buckets could just kind of get something going. He has the talent. He's shown it before pre-injury. So it's got to be like Russ just kind of getting back into the, you know, they, they say you can't replicate, you know, games, right? You can train all you want. You can practice all you want, you know, and you can go play as hard as you want, but that does not replicate the game. You know, so maybe it's that. And, you know, with Steph out with the shoulder injury for a little bit, you know, Warriors struggling in general, maybe they're just like, hey, let's give this guy some minutes and let's just see if we can get something going here this, this, while Steph is out. So this could be a pretty important month or so. Uh, holiday. Could be an important month or so for, for James Weissman and his stock. Jackson Holiday, another paper for Jack Vane. Jack with Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. There's Peyton Paulette, 74 out of 150 for the White Sox. Alan Murdoch with the Shy Sox. You know what, Rex? Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has amnesia. That's what it is. This would be a good indie movie. This would be a good indie movie. Just it's the kind of movie that Arnold would do for free, just for fun. Beyond like a shoestring budget. Like a million dollars or something like that. You know, it'd be the indie studio. He's actor Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he thinks he's a cop, or he's lost, he's lost something, short-term memory or some kind of memory loss sort of thing. And the doctors say that for Arnold to regain his memories, he has to, uh, he has to maybe, maybe it's not be a cop, maybe he has to revisit some of his old roles. Rex. So maybe he has to like be a kindergartner teacher and he has to be a police officer and he has to be a robot. He has to be a Terminator and he has to kind of revisit those roles. He has to be a last action hero. He has to be in true lies. He has to be a predator. He has to go to the jungle. Kind of has to revisit all these stuff for him to, to regain his memories. Running Man, yeah, and he, he eventually has to do all of that to uh, at the behest of his his movie wife, 
obviously it's semi-fictional. It's movie one. It is fictional. He's not doesn't have amnesia. And his wife in the movie needs him to regain his memories to to have her husband back. And there's a heartwarming ending. From the makers of Manchester by the Sea. Do Bowman image variations have a different code like the flagship product? I have no idea. I would assume so. Are there variations in here? Don't know. But, thankfully, all card ship. Let's see if Cardboard Connection has any details on that. Parallels, parallels, inserts, autographs and parallels. Yeah, there's base image variations, right? Ah, yes, there is. Um, base chrome image variation set checklist. This code on the back ends with 346. 346. So here's the, here, I'm going to drop you the checklist. You and everybody in the chat who's watching live, I'm going to drop the checklist for you right now. Just control F variation and they'll, you can, they'll send you to the base chrome image variation set. There's only 15 players that have it. For example, Jackson Holiday is, could have a variation, but we haven't seen it because all of the pictures are the same. But that's the code they're talking about down there. If it ends in three, it's they're tiny, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but if it ends in three, four, six, it'll be a variation. Only the chrome looks like has variations. I feel like it would jump out at us when, when we see it. It was Owen Murphy, 110 to 250, purple chrome autograph for Michael Osi and the Braves. Right, something like that, right? You, you got to work in I'll Be Back. You got to work in the classic lines. But he's kind of in reality, so people are just like, wait, what? Is he being self-referential? And you'll be like, no, he's... Sometimes, sometimes he comes back, sometimes he doesn't. He thinks he's in a movie now. But he's lost his memory. We're trying to help him gain it back. 466 out of 499. Paper for the Giants, Jack. Maybe there'll be a road trip scene or something like that. Maybe with some Peter Gabriel playing in the trailer. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, the checklist seems to suggest that it's just the chrome cards. So just sort out the chrome and then just kind of look at the one that maybe looks a little different. Or just look for the players, I guess. Because there's only 15 players that would have a variation. So kind of look that up and then look at the chrome cards or look at the back of the cards. And I'm sure you, you, might, you might stumble into a variation or two. And there's Reggie Crawford. That's Jack with the Giants. Won that spot in the team random. Also, different years might have different uh, codes on the back, codes at the end. So I would check whatever year that you're looking through. Check the... Uh, here's Jerry McKenzie, 43 out of 99, green paper for James and the Nationals. I would, I would check the checklist like cardboardconnection.com and usually they'll tell you about variations and what the code is for that particular year. But for 2022, Bowman Draft Baseball, 
Base Chrome image variation set checklist. The code on the back is once again, three, four, six. Trevor Martin, blue to 150 for Ryan Harold and the Rays, last spot mojo. Got an auto a little bit earlier. Do I need to watch this uh, Lakers Kings game again? I don't think so. I know what happened. Maybe NBA game time? Dustin Harris has a redemption on the back of it. Aqua Lava. Dustin Harris. I close my eyes. Only for a moment to long times. Dust in the wind. All we are are dust in the wind. Something, something. All the lyrics that go here, all the lyrics go. Mason Barnett Speckle. Anyone want to take a guess at the redemption? I'll give everyone one guess, one guess only, one ping, one ping only, Vashili. One guess, one guess only. Guess that redemption. Give me the player's name. And I'll give you ten dollars in break credit. You have to, you have to be registered to the site too, so I know where to send that. So I know where to send that money. But if you get it, ten dollars of delicious, delicious break credit to JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That could be, that's like half of a filler spot or something like that for most breaks. I'll give it to the end of, after I open these packs, that's how long I'll give it. It'll be right up front right here, it's not going anywhere. Husky Dolphin guessing Jackson Curio. That would make uh, Frank very happy. Yes, he has the Brewers. One ping, one ping only to Shelly. Well, no one wants to play. No one wants to play. It's just you and me, Husky Dolphin. Or everyone's lagging behind. Oh, Rex, you snuck in there with Brooks Lee. It's, nope, it's uh, Cooper Jerp. 
Cardinals. Allen with the Cardinals. Cool. All right, it's Cooper Shirt. We got an Angel Martinez, blue paper to 150, 31 out of 150 for Cleveland. That'll be for Mark. Ooh. And a uh, yellow lava, gold lava? And an auto, 26 out of 75, yellow lava for the Mets, Mark. Oh, we got some Beacocks. Wish you would have signed that a little bit higher. Uh, some Cox going to James. Some Cox going your way, James. Fourth round pick. Plan to attend... Uh, Texas, and was a star quarterback who garnered some national uh, recruiting for football. Husky Dolphins shocked how many players are in the transfer portal. Yeah. What's going on with that transfer portal? Uh, there's like players going back to the original places that they were recruited to, right? I saw someone do that. I don't follow college super closely, but I know I saw like, you know, kids are transferring all over the place. I mean, especially for football when, you know, most kids are there for like three or four years. But like, can kids just, just go change, could a quarterback change teams every year? I guess. I mean, I feel like that's. I don't know. Do we have a problem? Is that a problem or maybe not? Like initially, I think it's a problem. Or is that a good thing? You know, coaches get hired and fired all the time, and the kids they recruit, right? I think that was originally the intent of the transfer portal. You know, like if a coach, if a kid gets recruited and the coach gets fired in like half a year, you know, and the, the next coach has, doesn't want anything to do with you, you don't want that kid to be stuck in that spot, which might not be the best spot, which is fair. You know, so he should be able to, to go into the transfer portal. Now does the 19 over 1900? Feels like that's a lot. And now there's the question of holiday. Is the NIL stuff going getting out of control? Schools with a lot of boosters with deep pockets. There's David McCabe, 122 out of 250. McCabe is the name, name of uh, a really nice guitar shop in West LA. Go there, go visit. Tell him Jaspi sent you. Michael Losia with the Braves. Not that I don't know too much about the ins and outs of how this, the the NIL deals are going to work, Ben Joyce, or what players, what kids can can't do. But I just get the feeling, knowing the that's for Nicholas and the Angels, the paper. Just knowing the NCAA, I feel like they probably fumbled that, right? You know, basically the idea was, yeah. You know, 
If a player's jersey is being sold with his number on the back in the team, in the student bookstore, all right, there's Henry Mendez to 250. They, they should be able to get, you know, so and so should be able to get something out of it, you know? It's like a local restaurant wants, like, you know, star soccer player, star local soccer player, XYZ, hey, you know, here's some money. Do a do a little t local TV ad for us for our restaurant. You know, let's give you a little money. You don't get in trouble. Hey, so and so goes to. Uh, they signs a few jerseys and signs some footballs and, you know, gets sold in a store. Or it's in a repack product or something like that. You know, like fine. They can get a little bit of money. But now it just seems like. It's like they could just get straight up paid or something like that. And they'd be like, all right, come to our school. And parents get a house. And like, it's just, it's happening already. We may as, or is it that? Maybe it's just happening already. So you may as well just, like, I guess, make it legal. There's Dylan DeLucia. Maybe that's what it is. Mark with Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Maybe there's just like, it's going to happen anyway. We can't regulate it. You know, like, you may as well make it legal. The kids won't get in trouble for it. Another box. Cleveland beat the Bucks today? The highlights are suggesting yes. No, Milwaukee's coming back. No, now the highlights are suggesting the Bucks came back. No, Cavs beat the Bucks 114 106. Donovan Mitchell, 36 points. Look at that. Darius Garland, 23 points. Jared Allen, 19 and 8. Wasting a Bucks wasting a 45 point effort from Giannis. He trailed by as many as 24 points, but they cut it down to an eight point loss. Wow. Holiday. Man, that Donovan Mitchell, what, I mean, I'm not used to saying. You know, we're not used to really used to seeing. There's Peyton Pallet for the White Sox, Aqua Lava for Allen. We're not used to seeing Cleveland make like the, the the sharp moves. You know, to draft well and and then make the move for Donovan Mitchell, and that's been. I feel like that's been everything to that team. You know, Donovan Mitchell who already plays well, already a good player. It's a kind of a well-balanced team. Just size-wise and everything, Mitchell and Darius Garland combined for 59 points. Wow, so they're they're playing well together. 
Got some young energy on that team too. There's Eric Hernandez, purple paper to 250, 74 out of 250 for the White Sox. That's for Allen. It's all coming together. I wonder, I would love to see them be active in the trade window. Be buyers, not sellers, be buyers. And then make a run in the playoffs. There's Sunny De uh, Dichera. 125 out of 199. Aqua, Lava, Autograph, Halos. It'll be for Nicholas. Judd Fabian, paper to four ninety nine for the O's. That's for Jack. An autograph, Nathan Marto Martoea, 447 out of 499 for the Friars. That's going to be for Bobby and the Padres, who won that team in the filler. Team ran from Monterey, California, which I believe is in the central coast of California, a very beautiful part of the world. I think that's where the Monterey Bay Aquarium is. I think that's the same Monterey. Which is great, they have otters there. Elijah Green going to James and the Nats. Auto would be nice, right? Still have some boxes to go. Let's see what we can do. Pascal Siakam dropped 52 today on the Knicks. Raptors won 113 to 106. There's Brian Acuna behind him, Dominic Keegan. I don't know if this is one of the guys you were looking for, Ryan Harold. I remember Simpson? Is Keegan one of them? Anyway, Dominic Keegan, Rays for Ryan Harold. Got the Rays straight up. Brian Acuna, uh, one of the two brothers Ronald has in Major League Baseball, is to 99. That's for the Twins. That's going to be for Peter and the Twins. Two more boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. The 55-minute mark. Oh, this one's definitely going slower than the first one. 
You're dragging, dragging a little bit. You know, just, just running out of steam at the end of the night. Tomorrow, we should do a few of these at the beginning of the day. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Buy your teams now. Let's hit the ground running. And usually at the beginning of the day, we'll have, might have, we can, might recruit some people to help us stack these up for me. Might help the break go a little bit faster and we can get more done in less time. Jason Tatum at 41 today. In a losing effort, they lost to the Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton with 33 points. Chris Duarte with 14 points. Pacers 18 for 39 from the field. Almost, almost 50%. Wow. There's Gabriel Hughes, five out of 99 green chrome autograph for EA and the Rocks. This isn't the game. Oh, another idea about a movie. All right, all right. Rex is feeling frisky. He's, he's, he's feeling like the first pitch went well. Let me try to do another one. Arnold's the doctor's recruit. Arnold's the doctor recruit. Co-stars by helping reprise the role. Danny Vito has to reprise his role from throw mom train. See now that that's a hat on a hat, Rex. Oh, another one, one about the movie. Yeah, that's a hat. That's a hat on a hat. You can't do that. The first bit is good enough. And you start getting uh, co-stars in there. That that's what they call in the industry a hat on a hat. Is one Bin Cho. Four ninety nine. The Korean player going to Alan Murdoch. Although, uh, uh, although, when's Devito? When's the last time Devito's been in a movie? I mean, he's. You know what I mean? I feel like he's he's done It's Always Sunny for a while. Which I love him in that. Love that show. The podcast is great. But when's the last time he's done a movie? Someone's gotta put him in a movie. No, I think I was just reading too fast. And there's Trevor Martin. Maybe this was one of the guys that uh, Ryan Harold was looking for. Tampa Bay Rays. Maybe third round pick. Supposedly they're making a movie called Triplets with Arnold, Danny DeVito, and Eddie Murphy. Hmm. As a sequel to Twins. There's Edison Polino, gold paper for the Red Sox, 47 out of 50. Elijah Green. 
I mean, with that kind of cast, I would like them to do something original. It's not just piggyback off an old movie. And we got Jonathan Cannon to 199. He's a pitcher. I hope his arm is like a cannon. Skills give me a uh, low to mid 90s fastball. I mean, that's good, but it's not, not like he has a cannon. We got a Jordan Sprinkle. Sprinkles! 121 out of 150. Blue Wave autograph for Alan Murdoch and the White Sox. Won that team in the team random. And we've got Jose Ramos. 13 out of 150 for the Dodgers. That will be for Peter and... The boys in blue. All those Tamar Johnson, uh, jo Johnson's Johnson's going to Chad to Benny. Looking for some parallel, maybe in the last box here. Coming up, three autos and parallels. Final box, ladies and gentlemen. Final break of the night. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate it. You know what? Took a minute or two to get here, but I'm glad we finally got these cases knocked out. I think most of the people in this break will be... Waking up to see this. There'll be a recap at the end. And hopefully, people that got hits will be so inspired that they'll buy more teams in Bowman Draft Baseball and we can get more done maybe in the first half of the day. First, first half of the show. Remember uh, someone making a uh, a snarky comment about like I was, I was like one of these times I was like man what a long day what an exhausting day and some some snarky jerk was like yeah it must be tough open up baseball cards there harder than you think I make it look easy you know but but you take that along with along with you know you got. Think about showing all the cards properly. Right? It's not you're just not shuffling like random. Showing the cards properly, describing it, keeping it centered in the frame, talking throughout the break, adding value. All those little things. Production value is important. Finding Jackson holidays are important. Chrome version this time. Don't see a lot of these Chrome version. That's Jack with the Orioles. Just 
summer holiday. Some backseat drivers. A lot of backseat drivers. Jacob Mill, Sal Stewart. Right, yeah. No, I've got appreciation for that. Like, you get that, right? Right, Sal? Just at a grocery store. How hard, how hard could that be? And you think these shelves magically stock themselves or organized? Do you think all the stuff that you want when you want it right now just magically happens? All this stuff magically in stock? No, you you but you're you're lucky that that's that you know the cases of your Coca Cola isn't just stacked up in a in a pile in the corner of a store, you know that's nicely displayed for you. Believe it or not, that that makes you want to buy it. There's ninety four and ninety nine. Dylan Lesko for the Padres. There's Sunny D. Chiara. D. Chiara. D. Chiara. The way of the people. It's for the Angels. Nicholas with the Halos. Yeah, well, you know, Rex, people who do that, more often than not, are people that are probably not happy with their own lives. And they, they, they're probably so full of themselves, I think they're the only ones working so hard for so little money. You know, and... Here's Joe, open baseball cards. He's not allowed to be tired at the end of the day, talking all day long to provide you a little smidgen of entertainment and maybe pull some hits for you along the way, you know? Can't be tired, Rex. That's because they're, they're unhappy. Oh, Rex's job, so easy. You know, he can't be tired. All he's doing is putting stuff on shelves, you know, like, come on. All he's doing is ordering stuff. You know, all he's, you know, all he's doing is that. I can keep things organized. You know, it's like, yeah, okay, go, go and try it. Jet! Woo, 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 woo. That's for the Mets. Mark Bissett. Yeah, at the end of the day, they're just unhappy people. Yeah, I think that's that's the underrated part. Yeah, the talk to the audience. I'm glad you see that. Husky Dolphin. Think about trying to come up with things to talk about. Just kind of keep trying to keep conversations rolling throughout the day. You know, different topics, different things people want to talk about, all that stuff.
I've had a lot of people who are who are just like, who are like, hey, listen, I uh, I saw you do this for a few years. I thought I could do it. I gave it a shot. Blah blah blah. Couldn't do it. That's that's they they say. Listen, the opening once you sell something, that's the easy part. But trying to keep people engaged and as much as possible and talk to them about stuff, they're like, man, I ended up running out of things to talk to. I thought it'd be easy just talking about sports, but then I realized, oh. Like sports talk radio, right? You think, oh, I could go on. I could be calling Cowherd and talk about sports for three hours, but you don't know how well-crafted those shows are. I've always had a pretty strong voice. I like hearing myself talk, Rex, (laughs) thankfully. All right, what's the last redemption going to be? But you've seen you've seen me in the early years. Where I was a lot more high energy. I had to kind of balance it out throughout the throughout the uh, throughout the week. Once I started doing this every night, so you can you'll you'll see the change if you look at the old videos. Chrome prospect autograph, purple refractor parallel of two fifty K Kansas City. It's got to be. There's only one K City, right? Gavin Cross, Kansas City Royals for Mark. And that's the break. We made it. Hour and 11 minutes. That's not bad. I think that might be the average time. I think I might have caught up a little bit towards the end. Here is the autograph recap. These are about one out of every 60 packs. Some nice colors, some blue waves, some green. Some aqua, another redemption. Didn't see any of the big names, but I think we got a lot of color. Saw a lot of stuff. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball uh, eight box jumbo. Pick your team number three. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and I will see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.